Tell Divas, it's me, Princess D, back here with you with another video. Video, ho. Oh. Okay, yeah. Back here with another video because I would like to try to do a little bit of nail art. And I would really like to try out this holographic fantasy nail powder that I got from iMethod Beauty. If you can see that. It is made in China. And it, like I said, is a holographic chrome powder. And you can get this on eBay. And if you are a Prime member, it will come to you the next day. I ordered this and it literally was here the next day. And I did not order it like really early in the morning. It was like mid-afternoon. And I'm in the U.S. So, yeah. I will get the... um link for you guys down below as to where you can go and purchase this on Amazon so that it's easier for you guys. I believe I've learned how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to try to put this on one or two nails here. I've top coated these and this is the glitter party collection. And this one here is the, um, diamond. What's it called? Where is it? It's the Diamond Rain, and I'm going to also, I'm going to try it on a light color, and I'm also going to try to put it on this blue one as an ombre working up the nail. So, like I said, I've already top coated these and put them in the Nuka, but it was a minute ago, so I don't know if I need to top coat it again or not, but let's see together how it works. Yeah, it's not going to show up to, oh, oh, yes, it will. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a hollow, <clears throat> but I think it will look better over top of a darker color. Maybe even this pinky drink. Hmm. What do you think about that? Why don't we do that one too, huh? Let's do pinky drink and the, um. Blue Magic, I think it's called. Okay, so there's that one. Let's do Pinky Drink. And you guys, a little bit of this goes a long way. Yeah, I think I need to do this again. Hold on. I can really, I don't know if you guys can see that hollow, but wow, I can really see it on this one, but I don't want to take on that purple one. I don't know why. Maybe because I did that purple one a while ago. I don't know. All right. So what I'm going to do is dust this off here. I'm going to put another coat of top coat on there. It says apply two thin layers of gel polish and cure in between layers. Black polish works the best, but you can use any color. Step two, apply a thin layer of any non-wipe top coat cure, but don't over cure. Ah, this one was over cured, you guys, because I cured it twice because when I did these two nails, this like after I did all five nails, I took the other two out and put these two in because there were seven colors, remember? So then I cured it again when I did these. So actually, no, it was cured four times because, or, or six times. No, more. I, I don't know because we did the bit one coat of base, two coats of color, and then the top coat. So yeah, this one was over cured. That's why it didn't work. And this one, it did work. So we're going to go ahead and put another coat of top coat on this one, which is the pinky drink and the thumb, which is the um, magic blue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back and we are going to go ahead and try to burnish in this pigment to the pinky now oh yeah now it's working baby now it's working work your magic work it work that flow baby work that flow huh look at that oh guys i thought there was really something wrong with me because every time i bought chrome powder I bought it on Wish or AliExpress or whatnot, and I don't want that up there. That's probably too late, though. 
Look at that. I can even sort of get that down a bit. So it looks more like an ombre. Yeah, so I don't even know what I was just saying. You guys got to be reminding me and that's a shame. Okay, so we're going to go ahead on the um, magic, magic blue. Yeah, magic blue with, you know what? Ugh, wow. A little tiny bit of this, you guys, goes a very long way. So you may think, oh, it's just a little pot for that much money. No, it, you get, you get a lot more than what you're paying for. Honestly, you guys, this stuff is like magic, just like this magic blue. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm trying to kill y'all. I'm expecting y'all to be fucked. Ooh, sorry. Bleep, bleep. Oi, chingo. I'm so sorry. Gosh. I'm going to try to bleep that out. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. Yeah, I really like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, you guys. <gasps> Love. I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay. We're going to top coat it and be right back. Okay, divas, we're back. And I have used the top coat to top coat these three fingers with the hollow um, chrome powder from iMethod. And it looks absolutely amazing to me. Ah, this is my Nirvana, you guys. Duchess is going nuts because her daddy and her brother are walking in the door from the store. So, but just so you know, I did not use the um, Model 1's top coat to go over these three nails with the hollow chrome because I didn't want to contaminate the bottle with the pigment. So, I used an old bottle of Born Pretty top coat and it's not focusing. Why not? Why? Why for not you focus for me? <laughs> okay, anyways, you know what it is. The No White Born Pretty Top Coat, so I wouldn't contaminate my Model 1's, you know. So, uh, but this does not, look at that. It does not look as shiny as the Model 1's Top Coat, so I'm probably going to go over it with the Model 1's Top Coat now that the glitter is encapsulated and it won't contaminate my bottle. But I'm really, really liking the subtle look of the hollow at the tip of this nail. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I really, really like it a lot. And I don't know if you notice the difference between this ombre nail and this ombre nail. But me personally, I like this way that I did it better than this way. And I don't know if you guys can tell me why before I say it. But the reason is when I used the eyeshadow applicator to blend it, I went in a U shape on the pinky drink pinky fingernail so that it would look more of an ombre fade. I think it looks more of an ombre if it's in that um, shape of the, um, you know, the free edge line. But I, I kind of went in a straight line on the blue one, so that's why I don't like it as much. Although I still think it's absolutely amazing. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. So that's the end of this one. It is a nice short one. Sorry for all the long ones. And we'll be back again with another nail art design for this gorgeous collection. See you guys in the next one. Bye, Diva.